Ronaldinho went from one of football's most legendary players to being locked up in the most dangerous prison in South America with $7 to his name. How did this happen? Well, we first need to go back to Ronaldinho's troubled childhood. Things have never been easy. Ronaldinho grew up in Porto Alegre, Brazil, a place where you could not walk alone without any trouble. From a young age, he looked up to his older brother, Roberto, who became his guiding light in the world of football. A young Ronaldinho even followed in his brother's footsteps, owning his skills on the dusty streets of their neighborhood. As destiny would have it, Ronaldinho's talents could not be contained within the confines of his neighborhood. His extraordinary abilities caught the attention of talent scouts, and he soon found himself wearing the iconic jersey of Gremio. It was here, in the vibrant atmosphere of the club, that the seeds of his greatness were sown. For the next 14 years, Ronaldinho dazzled the world with his incredible talent. Starting from the club's futsal team, he quickly ascended through the ranks, leaving a trail of stunned opponents in his wake. His unique tricks and flicks became the talk of the town, drawing national recognition to the young prodigy. In one memorable game, Ronaldinho etched his name in the books of football history. With a display of unparalleled skill, he scored not one, not two, but um, 23 goals. No, I am not making this up. Ronaldinho scored 23 goals in a single match. It was a feat that left spectators and even the referee in awe. The football world stood up and took notice. Naturally, such a prodigious talent could not be contained within the borders of his country. Ronaldinho's star continued to rise as he donned the yellow jersey of the Brazilian national team. In the 1999 Copa America tournament, he showcased his mesmerizing mesmerizing skills and played a pivotal role in leading Brazil to victory. The world had become captivated by the young wizard's enchanting performances. In the midst of his meteoric rise, European clubs came knocking on Ronaldinho's door. PSG in France became his first European destination. The stage was set for Ronaldinho to conquer the continent, but beneath the surface, cracks began to appear. At PSG, Ronaldinho was a tempestuous genius. He had a knack for turning up in big matches and wowing the crowds with his breathtaking displays of skill. However, in regular matches, his performance waned and his attitude in training left much to be desired. The club's coach faced the wrath of Ronaldinho's mercurial temperament and their relationship reached a breaking point. But as one door closed, another swung wide open. Enter Barcelona, the mecca of football. Ronaldinho's move to the Catalan Giants ignited a revolution. From the moment he stepped onto the hallowed Camp Nou turf, he unleashed a storm of bewitching football magic. In his debut match, Ronaldinho conjured a goal that defied the laws of physics. Dribbling past two severe players, he unleashed a thunderous strike that crashed against the crossbar only to ricochet into the net. The crowd erupted in ecstasy and the legend of Ronaldinho was born. Joined by a constellation of footballing superstars, Ronaldinho and his merry band of geniuses took the world by storm. The likes of Samuel Eto'o, Deco and a young Lionel Messi joined forces with Ronaldinho, forming an unstoppable force. They swept aside opponents with breathtaking ease, leaving the defenders dumbfounded and goalkeepers grasping at thin air. But it wasn't just his performances on the pitch that captivated the world. Ronaldinho's off-field antics were the stuff of legends. When he wasn't dazzling audiences with his artistry, he was busy organizing impromptu samba parties in the locker room. The air was filled with the infectious rhythm of Brazilian music as his teammates and staff joined in the revelry. It was a carnival-like atmosphere that permeated every aspect of the club. Ronaldinho's time at Barcelona was like a never-ending fiesta. He danced through the challenges, twirling the ball effortlessly round opponents. His audacious tricks and flicks became the talk of the town, leaving fans and pundits alike scratching their heads in disbelief. In one match against bitter rivals Real 
Madrid. Ronaldinho orchestrated a masterpiece that would be etched into the memory of every Barcelona fan. With a cheeky smile on his face, he audaciously lobbed the ball over the head of the helpless goalkeeper, not once but twice in quick succession. The Santiago Bernabeu erupted in applause, unable to resist the sheer brilliance on display. Ronaldinho's impact extended beyond the boundaries of the pitch. His infectious smile and warm personality made him a beloved figure in the hearts of fans worldwide. Children idolised him, imitating his every move on the playgrounds. Grown men and women danced in the stands, joyous and carefree, inspired by the magic of his play. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Ronaldinho's fairy tale at Barcelona began to unravel. Amid rumours of late night escapades and excessive partying, his performances started to suffer. The sparkle in his eyes faded and the once unstoppable force shown signs of vulnerability. After bidding farewell to Barcelona, Ronaldinho embarked on a journey to regain his former glory. He sought refuge in the hallowed halls of AC Milan, donning the iconic red and black stripes. But try as he might, and even with the scare tactic of licking his lips before a game, he couldn't recapture the magic of his earlier days. The world watched in disbelief as the fallen wizard struggled to find his footing. Off the pitch, Ronaldinho's life took a tumultuous turn. His joyous spirit became entangled in a web of legal troubles and financial mismanagement. In a shocking turn of events, he found himself entangled in a bizarre crime saga that would send shockwaves through the football world. It all started with a trip to Paraguay, where Ronaldinho and his brother Roberto planned to participate in a charity event. Little did they know that their journey would take an unexpected detour into the realm of international intrigue. In a stunning twist, they were arrested for entering the country with fake passports, unleashing a media frenzy of epic proportions. Ronaldinho, the man who once brought smiles to the faces of millions, found himself locked behind the iron bars of a maximum security prison. The once luminous star was now confined to a world of concrete walls and barbed wire. His infectious smile replaced by a stoic impression navigated the treacherous waters of prison life. But even in the darkest of times, there was a glimmer of hope. Ronaldinho's indomitable spirit remained unbroken. He became a beacon of light amidst the shadows, bringing joy to his fellow inmates with impromptu football matches. The prison walls reverberated with the echoes of his laughter and the thunderous applause of his newfound fans. In a strange twist of fate, a certain pandemic came to Ronaldinho's rescue. As the world grappled with the spread of the virus, the prison system released him to house arrest, granting him a taste of freedom once more. Though his legal battles were far from over, Ronaldinho emerged from the prison gates with renewed determination. And so, Ronaldinho's story continues, a tale of triumphs and tribulations and a career that was extremely magical, just like the career of the lion-hearted Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Learn his story by clicking on screen.